The fragmented health information system implemented within the health sector constrained managers at all levels from making evidence-based decisions and preparing effective plan. To address this problem, the Ministry of Health designed new integrated health management information system and initiated broad implementation from health posts to hospital levels. In today's program, we will cover the new community health information system that's being implemented at health post level, as well as the implementation of the improved health management information system at health center and hospital levels. Previously, in the health posts that provide service at Kabale level, it was difficult to provide information-based health care to clients. This was due to the absence of health information system. When patients referred to the next service delivery level, they went without a record explaining their past medical history, which affected the quality of care. The health extension workers also expressed the challenge they faced to properly document and report their work due to insufficient knowledge of community health information system. Previously, before we were giving these forms, we covered so many things, but because of the workload, we were not able to record on paper. Hence, our efforts were not recognizable. By identifying weakness of the health information system in the health posts, health centers, and hospitals, the Ministry of Health designed and implementing a new community health information system at health post level and improved health management information system at health center and hospital levels. So far, 6.1 million family folders have been printed and distributed across regions. More than 3,259 health posts in each region implemented the family-centered information system. This brings the coverage of the family folder at national level to 22 percent. In this fiscal year, we are providing training of trainers. Subsequently, all regions will cascade the training down. In addition, the remaining 12 million family folders will be distributed to the households. Therefore, this information will facilitate decision-making at all levels. The ongoing pilot implementation of the new community health information system at health post level allows residents to have individual health card for follow-up. In order to implement this new health information system nationally, a pilot work has been launched in few districts of the southern region. Satisfactory results are already observed. We started it in our region with health extension workers in selected sites. Currently, 50% of the health extension workers in the region are trained on CHIS. Not only trained, but also started implementation. We started it this year. We are expected to finish the rollout by the end of 2004 fiscal year. In areas where we started implementation, much better results are recorded. To scale up the pilot implementation to other regions, the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with Southern Region and JSI, an governmental organization, have been providing training of trainers in six rounds. More than 300 representatives from all regions participated in the training and received theoretical as well as practical trainings. Upon returning to their regions, the participants are expected to transfer the knowledge they gained by providing practical training to officials and health extension workers in their respective regions. 
Those experts trained here came from federal, region, zone, district, and health centers. This is targeted to create an understanding of the community health information system among health professionals. It intends to replicate the best practices that the trainees have seen here in their respective regions and cascading the training first to the selected district. Then scale up to the rest of the zones and districts. In general, to establish a standard community health information system nationwide. The trainees visited health posts that are implementing the community health information system to relate the lessons they learned in the classrooms to the practical situation. The trainees will replicate this approach and will work jointly with their district and Kabale leaders. The leaders at all levels are also expected to provide the necessary support to this work. We met with the various leaders, including cabinet members, Kabele administrator, and cell and village leaders, and informed them about the training we took. The leaders then gave directives to the community that such information is going to be collected and that they have to be cooperative and provide necessary information. We mobilized the community for the data collection. We went ahead of the health extension workers to notify the community that household information collection is taking place and to be available. It will allow them to see what is being implemented at the health post and household levels. Therefore, this translates what they have learned in classroom. They are able to see how the information is collected and used for action at local level. This is the last round of the six training of trainers. Upon returning to the regions, they will give the training and facilitate implementation. As part of the Community Health Information System piloting program, the health extension workers, in collaboration with the Kebele administration and health promoters, categorized the Kebele into GOAT and assigned a unique identification number to individual households. Accordingly, they visited each household to obtain information and completed the family health form. The recorded information is put in the family folder and assigned a set of health cards for each home. To start with, in the folder, we record the region. SNMPR, Soto District, Agam Senado, Kabele, and GOAT 0601. Then we record the family or household number. 06001. This is the number we give to the first household. We record the family members vertically in this form according to their age. Then here we record dates and place of birth sex, and marital status. We gather the family information in this way. As part of the community health information system, a summary of a health profile is prepared by aggregating information collected from each household. The completed family folders are filed serially, disaggregated by GOAT number. This helps to easily retrieve the folders during clients' visit to the health post.
Each family folder includes three types of health cards and each used for different purpose. This card is used for male children that are above five years old or children under five years that are orphans. If the child gets sick and visits the facility, we record his information here, provide the treatment and insert the card into the family folder. Then we file the folder as per the GOAT number. We use this one to document antenatal and postnatal care, child growth monitoring, delivery service, and immunization. When a pregnant mother comes for antenatal care, we record her information in this, then put it in her family folder. This one is used for three purposes. For recording female children under age five and both male and female children under five that are accompanied with their mother. If the child is accompanied with the mother, we record the mother's name here, then the sick child's ID number and date. We give the service and then insert the card into the family folder. The training participants had visited the Community Health Information System pilot implementation sites in Southern Region. Then they said the following about what they will do when they return to their areas. We have gained a lot of knowledge. We will facilitate our health post to implement what we observed here. We learned about family folder management. I received additional knowledge from this. I'm committed to take the lessons and implement it in my region and district. We expect the trainees to have a good grasp of his contribution to achieve the health sector objectives stated in the Growth and Transformation Plan and properly pass this responsibility and commitment to others. Those that are going to be trained by them also have to take this idea forward and get into implementation. Obstacles and shortages faced during implementation should be routinely monitored and improved. Implementation of the new community health information system at health post level enables residents to have prompt access to health service in their vicinity. The implementation of the family folder facilitates documenting births, deaths, and general family health profiles that serve as input to other economic and social studies. During referral to health centers and hospitals, the system allows for sharing well-recorded patients' medical history, which in turn enables patients to receive fast and effective care from health providers. In the health facilities, patients' records are kept electronically, which reduces problems encountered due to misplacement of patient files. We observed this during our visit to Butajra Hospital. When we started this program, we observed many changes. First, it helped us to keep patient records properly and to avoid the problems associated with loss of patient files. In addition, it allowed for using a unique patient medical identification number. On top of this, as per the HMIS disease classification, we get information that we are using for decision making and for intervention. Though it is at an early stage of implementation, we believe it will give much more benefit in the future. 
It has been one year since Butajra Hospital started implementing the new reformed health management information system. We've asked the hospital administrator the progress made in this one year period. Since we started using the new health management information system, we were able to retrieve information. We use the information to identify gaps, what can be done at hospital level, are those beyond the hospital capacity, and make relevant decisions to resolve or address the problems. Besides this, it reduced the burden on patients. Previously, patients misplaced their registration card, so whenever they visit the facility, they were exposed to spend more money to buy new cards. Second, it was difficult to know the medical history of these patients. The patients must have come and got treated before, but there was no record to stress what was the diagnosis and the kind of treatment provided as the registration card is lost. This is resolved now. Because Butajara Hospital started implementing the reformed health management information system, patient satisfaction increased. The clients we met in the hospital confirmed this. A lot has changed compared to the past. Previously, we had to obtain a new card every time we came to the hospital. Now it is much better. Because the patient did not bring the registration card, he or she is not being turned away. But they will be asked why they did not bring it. I read in the notice board that a registration card is viable for five years. But still, some may forget to bring their registration card. The record keeping is supported by a computerized system. This facilitated the card room staff to be more efficient and give much better service to the clients. Implementation of the improved HMIS at the health facilities plays substantial roles in providing current and full information to the national population census conducted every 10 years. It prevents the inconvenience and additional expenditure patients encounter to obtain registration cards. For service providers, it allows them to give the relevant treatment taking patients' past medical history into consideration. It helps managers to prepare evidence-based plans and decision-making. Therefore, to make this feasible, managers at all levels are expected to provide all the necessary support and facilitation. Implementation of the improved HMIS at health facilities plays substantial role in providing current and full information to the national population census conducted every 10 years. It prevents the inconvenience and additional expenditure patients encounter to obtain registration card. For service providers, it allows them to give the relevant treatment taking patients' past medical history into consideration. It helps managers to prepare evidence-based plan and for decision-making. Therefore, to make this feasible, managers at all levels are expected to provide all the necessary support and facilitation.